Hi, I'm Mark Tool with 8020service.com, and today's customer service video question of the day again comes from Quora, and it's an interesting one. An answer that <clears throat> I think I'm going to differ from a lot of people's opinion on this one. How would you respond to a customer that tells you that it is false advertising not to have an end date on a promotional email? Okay, so first of all, there's only one answer to this at the time of my recording here. The person said you could thank the customer for letting you know that there wasn't an end date on the promotional email. Almost all promotional emails aren't, that aren't signed up for end up in spam. It's not false advertising to fail to have an end date, but it's not good business. Okay, so the first part of that, you could thank them for letting you know. I'm not going to do that. I'll get to what I would do in a second here. Um, almost all promotional emails that aren't signed up for end up in spam. Of course, that's the definition of spam. We're not talking about spam. We're talking about emails that people signed up for. If you're a spammer, this doesn't really apply to you. <clears throat> you know, figure out how to pull my name from my email address and say, Russian girls want to meet you or whatever. I'm not clicking on spam, but some people do. Uh, and the last part, it's not false advertising. Did not have an end date. It's not good business. It's not false advertising. It's fine business, don't worry about that. But, my first thought reading this, the this question, how would you respond to a customer that tells you it's false advertising not to have an end date? So you're just sitting there, you sent out an email today, a month ago, a year ago. I'm guessing the situation is probably something like you sent out an email last year or something with some kind of a promotion in it. And this guy goes and finds this old email and clicks it and tries to buy from it and realizes his promotional rate that he sees there isn't available anymore. And instead of just finding a newer email or going to your web page or asking you what deals are still available or asking you if you could honor that deal for him even though it's from a year ago. Instead, he sends you this whiny little email whining about, Oh, that's false advertising. You need to put an end date on your promotional email. Meh, 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 meh. Well, how would you respond to this customer? This is how I would respond. First of all, I would not literally respond at all. I would delete that email. I would never reply to it. Secondly, if this person had bought anything from me, I would make sure they were not on any kind of subscription renewal, that all renewals were canceled, all future payments were canceled. If they had not bought anything from me, or if they had, I would unsubscribe them from all email lists, I would never send them another email again, and if possible I would block them from buying from me in my credit card processing system. Now, you're probably thinking, what, that? that's a bit a disproportionate response, why would you do that? Because they've demonstrated that they're a bad customer, that they're going to be a problem customer. That instead of asking a question, instead of trying to do a thing, there are sometimes customers who will contact you wanting to do something. Then it's difficult and they might get frustrated, they might say something rude. Sometimes that's understandable. That's not what this person's doing. They're just sending you an email out of nowhere to complain that, oh, it's false advertising, you didn't put a thing in your promotional email folder, oh, when's the end date? You, I have no time for people like this. You shouldn't either. They have no place in your business. <clears throat> They're just going to complain. What if you... What, what else would you do? You would thank him for letting him know there wasn't an end date. Worthless. That doesn't do anything. What a lot of people would do is extend the sale for him anyways. Give him the deal anyways. Give him a different deal. Give him a better deal. But what do you think is going to happen when you do that? He's going to be happy and he's going to go use the thing and enjoy it and never bother you again. No, you're going to hear from him five minutes later. Your login process isn't very user friendly. I don't like the color of the web page. I can't find the free report. This person's going to be nothing but hassle for you and your business. And it's probably not worth your time to have this person around at all. People, it's not always obvious who the bad customers are, but in this particular situation, this person has made it very, very, very clear that they are the worst kind of customer. Most likely, I bet you, I'll, I'll bet you, in fact, if you check, if this is your situation that you're having, this person has never bought anything from you. If they have, they've canceled, they've refunded, uh, they've filed credit card disputes. All of these things may have happened with this type of person. Seen it so many times, it's just become predictable. These are the customers you don't want in your business. You can do things to try to repel them from the beginning, but some of them will stilt their way through, and when they do, you can't get rid of them until they make themselves known. 
this example is perfect, a perfect example of one of these people making themselves known, and it's a perfect opportunity for you to get them out of your business. So that's how my, I would respond to this person, and I would not reply to their email at all. I would not tell them that I was doing this. I would simply remove them from everything in my ecosystem, make it so they can never return, and they probably won't notice anyways. And if they do, I don't care, because I don't want them around. So, if you write some rude response, oh, you are a bad person and I am removing you from my list, they're just going to do more things, they're going to try to cause more trouble. If you like fighting with people, that might be fun for you. If you'd rather just run your business and make money, skip it and go on with customers more worthy of your time. Uh, that's really all I have to say on this answer here. It's kind of a short video, but I'll wrap it up here. So, as always, if you thought this question was in, this answer interesting, useful, valuable, all of those things, none of those things, upvote, thumbs up, uh, like, subscribe, whatever platform you're watching on. Uh, I've said this before, I do one of these videos every weekday on a customer service question, usually from Quora. I do post them on YouTube as well, so follow, subscribe, all that, whatever platform you're watching. If you have a question, you can ask me on Quora, you can ask me in the comments on YouTube, I may use it in a future video. And of course, I also write regularly on business and customer service questions and topics, both in responses in response to questions on Quora and on the website 8020service.com, including daily emails. One's going to be going out shortly here today. Um, so go there, 8020service.com, like the 8020 principle, and get on that email list so you don't miss out. Otherwise, I'm going to wrap this up here, and I'll be back tomorrow with another video.